Just because breastfeeding is natural doesn't mean it's easy, but you don't have to do it alone. That's where the lactation network comes in. The lactation network helps parents at every stage of the breastfeeding journey. Whether you need support for solving feeding issues, choosing the right breast pump, creating a plan for weaning or anything in between. The Lactation Network is the largest network of licensed breastfeeding experts in the country. They provide in-home, in-office, and telehealth consultations in all 50 states with no out-of-pocket cost. Get the breastfeeding care you deserve with the Lactation Network. Visit tln.care to schedule your own insurance-covered lactation consultation today. These are some great gift ideas for you to ask for or to give. Welcome to the All About Pregnancy and Birth podcast. I'm Dr. Nicole Calloway Rankins, a board certified OBGYN who's been in practice for nearly 15 years. I've had the privilege of helping over 1,000 babies into this world, and I'm here to help you be calm, confident, and empowered to have a beautiful pregnancy and birth. Quick note, this podcast is for educational purposes only and is not a substitute for medical advice. Check out the full disclaimer at drnicolerankins.com forward slash disclaimer. Now let's get to it. Hello there. Welcome to another episode of the podcast. Whether you are a new listener or a returning listener, I'm so glad you're spending some of your time with me today. Well, the holiday season is upon us, so I thought in this short episode I would share with you some great gift ideas for the pregnant mama in your life, or if you are the one who is pregnant, gifts that you can ask for on your registry. I really like babylist.com. I'm not affiliated with them or anything like that, but I like babylist.com because you can literally put anything on the registry. So these are things that you can pop onto your registry and ask for uh, contributions towards. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So number one is food postpartum. Listen, let me tell you, after that new baby comes home, you are not going to feel like doing any cooking, okay? That new baby and the two of you getting to know each other, that is going to take up your your time. Cooking is going to be a low priority. So definitely ask for or give gift certificates to Uber Eats or DoorDash. Those are really simple, easy things you can do so people can just order the food that they like. Or what you can do is you can ask for freezer meals or make freezer meals. And when I say freezer meals, what you do is you make like a spaghetti or a casserole or something that can be put together um, easily, like a lasagna. And then you're gonna divide it up and put it in disposable, freezable containers. So the person who gets it, they can just have it in their freezer, pull it out and have enough for them and their husband, their partner to eat a quick dinner that's easy, that can be heated up. And then the container is disposable so they don't have to worry about giving it back. And then what you do is you just drop it off on somebody's front porch, okay? You can even do that like right after they have the baby. Hey, you know what? I made you some freezer meals. I'm just gonna ring your doorbell. You can grab it. Because when you have a new baby, like you don't wanna get company or don't impose yourself on seeing the new baby. I'm telling you, you will be a hero for life if you just ring the doorbell, say, hey, I left some freezer meals on your front porch. Don't worry about getting the containers back to me. That is an excellent, excellent, useful gift for sure. Okay, number two is a contribution towards a postpartum doula. Now we know that birth doulas provide physical and emotional support during labor and birth and for a little bit postpartum, but a postpartum doula focuses specifically on the postpartum period. Like they don't help during labor or birth. They really do just postpartum. And I think sometimes doulas do postpartum because it's a little bit more predictable in a way. Like you, you're it's not as unpredictable as when birth happens. So a postpartum doula is there 
to really help the mother, well, not just a mother, but help the mother and the whole family during this transition to having a newborn. She is really there to help the mother to mother, okay? So help her to really get to know this brand new baby. So they can help with things like feeding. They can help with some of that physical recovery. They can help with emotional recovery, helping you process your birth wishes, or I mean your birth uh, story rather. They can help with infant care and maybe things like washing bottles, doing a little bit of laundry so you can just kind of chill, so you can just take a nap. They can watch the baby. And I think a lot of times people think that postpartum doula is like, oh, I can't afford a postpartum doula or it's going to be too much. But here's the thing. Even a couple of sessions with a postpartum doula can be really helpful. Or even if you want to say, hey, I want to do a package of like a couple times a month or, or once a week for the first four weeks when the baby's coming home. Like it doesn't have to be like every night or anything like that. All of us OBGYNs recommend that you take a prenatal supplement during pregnancy and ideally at least three months before getting pregnant. But which product is right for you and will it have all of the nutrients you need for every stage of your journey? Choosing a prenatal can be so confusing and that is why I am delighted to tell you about Element, which takes all the stress out of the process. Element is the first ever personalized prenatal supplement it's designed by maternal fetal medicine doctors and is not only customized for each person, but it also changes over time for each stage of your journey from preconception to postpartum. Element provides a tailored prenatal supplement, whether you have certain dietary preferences or a high risk pregnancy or nutritional deficiencies like low iron or vitamin D. And every 30 days, they can adjust your prenatal protocol to make sure it is the perfect fit for you. Also, Element has exceptional ingredient quality, no fillers, no additives, and the packaging is eco-friendly too. Every pregnancy is unique and your prenatal should be too. So visit helloelement.com. That's Element with two L's and use the code Dr. Nicole to get 20% off your first order today. You can speak with the postpartum doula and work out something that is going to be good for you to provide you some support. Because again, even one or two sessions can be helpful. I did a podcast episode with the postpartum doula and she talks all about what postpartum doulas do and how they can help. Great, great episode. It's episode 115 of the podcast. It's drnicolerankins.com forward slash episode 115. Episode is all spelled out. So do check that out if you want to learn more about a postpartum doula. All right. The third thing is a postpartum recovery kit. They didn't have nothing like this when I was having a baby. Listen, I sound like an old person. You know how your grandma is always like, they didn't have anything like this. I'm not trying to be quite that old, but I will tell you postpartum recovery kits are fairly new things where they have items that help with the physical recovery postpartum. So typically it has like mesh underwear and you'll get mesh underwear from the hospital, but these are going to be nicer. And let me tell you, those mesh underwear are just quite delightful after you have a baby. They're just big, they're comfortable, they're soft. Like most people love the mesh underwear. They also have things like cooling and heat pads that can come in really nice, like a cool pad to your perineum, your vulva area it can be really helpful if you had some swelling or if you had a tear, or it can be nice on a C-section incision or a, like a heating pad, not terribly hot, can be nice after a C-section on a C-section incision. I used to work with Lansano and they have these really cool pads that you can use postpartum. You can either put them in the freezer to cool them or you can put them in the microwave to warm them. Warm them. Like you can use them either way. So those were really, really cool and reusable. There are also things like nice cleansing bottles because when you're trying to move around these nice spray bottles to help spray things, you don't need a lot of soap in your vaginal area. So just kind of spray spraying to keep things clean. And then also things like herbal sprays or um, even numbing sprays can help with the, the physical recovery postpartum. These things can be really, really great. I've seen some cool postpartum kits out there. And I think it's a great um, reflection of the fact that we are finally focusing on 
the postpartum period and moms so often or so much historically it's been about baby you know the nursery and the baby shower and all the stuff for the baby and don't get me wrong the baby is important but very much so in our society it's like you have the baby and then once mom has had the baby she's like the rapper has been discarded you know mom was the rapper holding the candy and once the candy's out the rapper gets thrown away and finally we're realizing the importance of taking care of mom postpartum too because in order to have a healthy baby, you got to have a healthy mom, right? Including in the postpartum period. So I love these postpartum recovery kits and how they are so helpful in uh, helping you get your body together uh, physically um, postpartum. And then the final one I'll mention, and this is not one that I don't know that you can necessarily ask for, but I just think this is a great idea. And this is these nesting parties. Have you seen these nesting parties? So um, in addition to a baby shower, which you can still have to get the stuff for the baby, a nesting party is when everyone comes to the house and just helps get the house and everything ready. So it may be like washing the clothes. It may be like painting the baby's room. It may be hanging things up in the baby's room, getting things like um, the changing table table set up, furniture put together, cleaning the house. So the house is nice and clean as you go into labor. So just organizing a nesting party, or maybe if, you're, if your friends ask, you know, what can I do to help? Say maybe you want a little nesting party where like five or six folks get together and you just kind of clean up and get things together. And maybe you decide okay you bring a meal that kind of thing it's a really like practical way to help you get ready postpartum okay so what is a gift that you got postpartum that you really 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 love i would love to know send me a dm on instagram at dr nicole rankins um something that you were like oh my god this is so great i really everybody needs to know that they need to get this let me know i'm on instagram at dr nicole rankins okay so there you have it please share this podcast with a friend sharing is caring it helps me to reach and serve more people i'm on a mission to reach and serve as many pregnant folks as i can and any help you can give me in that i appreciate also subscribe to the podcast and apple podcast or wherever you're listening to me right now, leave me a review, an Apple podcast, a five-star review. If you really enjoy the show, it helps the show to grow, helps other women to find the show. And as I said, do follow me on Instagram. Reach out to me on Instagram as well. I'm on Instagram at Dr. Nicole Rankins and you can find little bite sites, bite-sized <laughs> nuggets of information there to help you have a great pregnancy and birth as well. So that's it for this episode. Do come on back next week and remember that you deserve a beautiful pregnancy and birth. <music>